please support the only independent outlet going across the United Corporations of America on the ground, covering what the corporate media covers up. Yeah, it's been a, a long, long struggle to try to modify these police behavior. And more recently, we were able to get a policy passed. It took us three years that any time the police are involved in critical incidents, that uh, they must show the video to the family within two days. Hello. Hello. How are you? Have you convinced him? Convince him? No, we're... Is he, are you convincing him or is he convincing him? Are you going with uh, no, the vice just president? No, doing an interview. <laughs> well, of course. Okay. What do you think? Uh, do you think a women's movement can uh, usher in the world uh, for peace as well? Because, you know, Miss Harris, she's all ironclad with Israel. And uh, so do you think the women's movement can help straighten her out on that? The thing is that Trump isn't going to do anything. Okay. <laughs> so they're going to both do equally bad or equally good or equally? There is no question. Mm -hmm. Trump is impossible. I agree. He's a sick person. I agree. I loved it on TV the other night when they were interviewing people on the street. And, and the one lady said, she's not voting for Trump. He's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's scary. He's scary. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a how, how do you feel about about them being so in favor of uh, bombing the people of Palestine and bombing it's, the people? It's, it's awful. Yeah. My book club at church, I go to the first Unitarian. Okay. That's a, club. That's a good church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we had, uh, we reviewed this book, Except for Palestine, mm. having to do with how the, the progressives were ignoring you know what was really what's been happening for years right with the with the governments and you know why that is because the jewish lobby is too powerful you say something against israel you've just lost your job <laughs> you're so what's your name joanne joanne nice to meet you joanne Brian. Bacher. actually one of the fellows they interviewed in israel had my same last name oh yeah spelled the same b-a-c-h-a-r so do you that think it's my former husband do you, do you think if Kamala gets elected, because she's on your bag, she's going to stop the bombings, uh, stop Israel from bombing? I don't think she'll do any worse than Trump, let's say that. It's a very difficult view. Yeah. You know, in this country, you can't vote against the Jews. I mean, that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> well, fortunately, there's a lot of Jewish people that are standing up against Zionism, so I think that's encouraging, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I just love all the students that came out and protested. Yeah, yeah. But they don't have jobs to do. Right, right. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Have you they seen this? Uh, <laughs> have you seen this documentary called Israelism? No. It's on. Uh, it's on free TV. Uh, it's pretty good. How do you? Talks about. It? Have you seen that one? I heard of it. Israelism. I seen it, yet. it. It talks about the indoctrination of uh, the young Jewish people here in the United States and uh, in Israel that more or less thinks that they have a God-given right to, you know. To, oh, and one of the things our, our, um, in our book club yesterday, this woman had this quote story from actually what the Bible really says mm. about the, giving the land to the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. No, it's all about being good people. Mm. And if you're good people, you can stay in this land or whatever. But it doesn't say unequivocally. You know that's their land. <laughs> right, right, right. And obviously they're not being good people. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Now, yeah. There's just no comparison between, you know, what happened to them and what happened to. But if you talk to, you know, Jewish friends, they'll say, "Oh, but think what happened to us, you know, over a million years or something." Right. Well, maybe we should allow the Indians to, you mm -hmm. know, attack us, right? Take their land back. Right. I'm in favor of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My understanding is a lot of Jewish people are leaving Israel, too. Really? So maybe they all would leave, then uh, the Palestinians could have their land back. Huh? What nationality are you? I'm Mexican and Scotch-Irish. I was, I was beginning to hear the accent. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I was picking up on the Mexican accent. So do you, you think uh, <laughs> Miss Harris is going to win uh, Wisconsin? I think it's very tough. Mm -hmm. I'll be out canvassing with my church this weekend. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And if she doesn't, then I guess we just have to deal with Trump, right? <laughs> yeah, endure, and you'll get locked up, and he'll get locked up. So, would you say the choice between Trump and Harris, on one end, it's like getting shot in the forehead, 
and on the other end, it's like slowly being poisoned. It's just you're gonna die, but one's faster than the other. Are you a Trump man? No, <laughs> I, I don't like either of them. No, I, I think there's, you know, there there are some things that you're you're not gonna get everything you want, but you'll get more of what you want. I.e., the lesser of two evils. So, wow. so you He's you've been news. around long, <laughs> long enough. I'm, I'm a nice I'm a nice boy. No, you 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 turn things around. You no, no, no. News. Yeah, he's being a provocateur, right? You know, he Trump's gonna lock him up. No, so probably. me too, and you too, probably. Well, Trump wants to deport the journalist too. <laughs> right, right, right. But you're really not rooting for Trump. No, I don't think. No, yeah. but I go around the country and I'm seeing suffering on both ends. Okay, so people from both sides could listen to you. Is that I right? think so. Yeah, we have uh, liberal viewers, conservative viewers. I kind of say it's not team. It's not team blue or team red. America is team green. Mm. Oh, he's gonna team vote green. for Jill Stein. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it's all about the money. <laughs> well, oh, okay. I, I that think, green. Okay. I think that magazine. Yes, yeah, that liberal magazine. That's Mother cool. Jones. There you go. Mother Jones would be rolling around in her grave if she saw what Mother Jones has become today. Yeah. It is not the Mother Jones of yesteryear. Well, anyway, it had a story on the development of autocracy in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And it showed, like, the U.S. was this way with the number of billionaires. Mm -hmm. Every other country was way down like this, including China, India, all of those. But the U.S. is like this. So... And they're funding both parties. It's a race to who could raise more money, unfortunately. All the money that they're donating to politicians, we could do so much across the country in cities. No, no, I, you know, I think we're in a scary situation in this country. I really think so, I do. Yeah, you know, yeah we just got troops in uh, Israel and we got troops in Lebanon now. Sent a hundred uh, troops to uh, Israel to help with their missile weapon. defense, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. forget the thousand military bases we have around the world. Or surrounding uh, the Middle East right now, yeah. Well, I had a I have a brother that had been in Vietnam. Mm. What was that war for, right? Uh, tungsten and tin, so said Eisenhower. It was all about tungsten and tin. And two, three million Vietnamese lost their lives and 58,000 U.S. soldiers, so. For what, right? Yep. <laughs> well, we wanted to steal their land and steal their resources, just like the Palestinians and, and the uh, Lebanese. Use, we got to use our weapons, too. Right, right. right. No, oh, yeah, that's big business. Oh, yeah. That's, you don't have to recycle those either. You just blow people up and order some more, you know. And we're paying for it. So your your money and my money, our tax dollars. Right. You know, the, the sick, it is a sickening situation in Palestine. But I do understand the, the politics of the situation. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get hired in this. You know. Well, in fact, you might remember in 1982, Israel was bombing Lebanon, Beirut, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Ronald Reagan of all people, mm -hmm. and I am not a supporter of Mr. Reagan, he called the Prime Minister of Israel and said, this looks like a Holocaust, you must stop. We're not gonna fund you anymore. And they stopped. But that was back in Reagan's days. <laughs> well, if Biden wanted to stop it, yeah, we I just- I saw that Elon Musk is now gonna be supporting him. You know, so we've got a lot more billionaires now oh, than yeah. we did back in Reagan's days. That's true. The politics, the financial situation. That's very true. Reagan's actually in large part responsible for that excess of billionaires. Because he started skewing everything towards the rich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The deregulation, the tax cuts for the rich, loosening the rules on money and politics. If you look at the chart that shows all the money racing to the top, it started in the early 1980s. Under Reagan. Yep. Maybe I could tell that to my members of my family that are voting for Trump. Well, no. You could talk to my parents first. <laughs> <laughs> They're voting well, for Trump. Oh, but God. my dad's like a hard, super duper Zionist. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, these people aren't even Jewish. But my brother in law is Dutch, which maybe he's close. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's a smart guy. He's a businessman, he had a mobile home park. They sold for six million, but he really didn't know much about investing. I think you know some of these people. They don't see oh, what, rich, yeah. what Trump is really doing. They see, you know, the old picture of the Republicans, right? You know, cut taxes, lower, smaller government, and they ignore. 
Well, honestly, from my travels, I think a lot of voters, it's not necessarily that they love Trump. A lot of them don't even like Trump, but they're frustrated with the Democratic Party. There's so much frustration because there's so year after year, broken promises, uh, you know, minimum wage, health care, you name it. And then they see their cities are so gentrified and housing is so expensive and everything. So they it's kind of like a like a revolt vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of the reasons they don't really see Trump for what he is, but they see what what. They oh, I've, I've had people tell me I hate Trump, but I can't vote for the Democrats. So I'm voting for him. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. I, I agree. It's a tight race. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> What's your name? Nice Joanne. Joanne. Joanne Dawson. Nice talking to you. All right. Yeah, nice Bye -bye. talking to you. Yeah, good luck.